Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 of some of the best things that you can do in Carmarthenshire. So Carmarthenshire is home to many amazing castles, coastlines, more castles. Trust me, there are more castles than you could ever want located throughout Carmarthenshire. And as it's also known as the Garden of Wales, obviously we have some great botanic gardens in the video as well. So let's not waste time and begin with my first suggestion and that is the National Botanic Garden of Wales. Now, in my opinion, this is definitely a must do when visiting Carmarthenshire. It's home to the world's largest single span glass house that you can see here, measuring around 95 meters long and containing 785 panels of glass. It was pretty spectacular to be in. Inside here were plants from all over the Mediterranean and the design of this whole area was something special. There's plenty more things to do than just this here though because you have many outdoor gardens, interesting buildings to explore, great views, lots of walking routes and Wales' tree of the year as well, which I mean, come on, who could turn that down? Also, as an honourable mention, from here, off in the distance, you can actually see the landmark of Paxton's Tower, which you may also want to visit. It was actually built in honour of Lord Nelson, and it gives you great views over the lovely landscapes of Carmarthenshire. Now, for my next point, one of the many amazing castles that you can find throughout Carmarthenshire, and a personal favourite of mine, and that is Larne Castle. Originally dating back to 1116 and giving you great views over this estuary, it's a really great place to explore. Also, if you are wondering who this mysterious person is that I've been following around in these clips, nope, that is not Ellie. This is Roy, he's my granddad, and believe it or not, he is 82 years old and still doing this. We've actually been exploring a little bit of Carmarthenshire and the Pembrokeshire coast together recently so you will definitely see him in some more upcoming videos so make sure you subscribe for more of this. <laughs> But anyway, back to Larn Castle, and yes, the remains of this castle are extremely intact. And definitely make sure you climb up to the top to get great views over the surrounding area. Located right next to this castle is also another very iconic location linking to a certain famous Welsh poet, and that is Dylan Thomas. Ah, Dylan. Ah, Dylan. So Dylan Thomas has been acknowledged as one of the most important Welsh poets of the 20th century and here in Larne you can find his boathouse in which he lived from 1949 until he died in 1953 and it was here that he wrote many of his famous pieces. You can also see his writing shed en route to his boathouse along with some written poems as well for extra entertainment. So on to another castle now, but this one is actually located right over on the opposite side of Carmarthenshire. In fact, this spectacular castle is located within the Brecon Beacons National Park, and that is Carrig Kennan Castle. Perched on top of this massive limestone hill, this castle looks over the surrounding landscapes of the gorgeous Brecon Beacons, and you get a great 360 view from the top. Oh yeah. You could see for miles. And if this amazing castle alone wasn't quite enough to persuade you to visit, if you head down underneath the castle, there is actually a cave that you can venture down into. This cave is quite small in areas and also there are no lights. So we ventured down it using only the tiny torch on my phone. But after around six minutes, we did actually manage to reach all the way to the end of the cave. Uh, and in fact, enjoy some of that footage now. Like an escape route. I can't see anything. Luckily, I got a torch. Oh, 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 of the oh. castle. Oh, 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 oh,
And by the way, I also just quickly wanted to mention, if you do want to get even more travel ideas from all over Wales, be sure to check out my full Wales playlist, which I will put down in the description, because over the past couple of years, we have traveled all over Wales and explored across the Pembrokeshire coast, Snowdonia, Tenby, and more. So yeah, feel free to peruse that after this one if you are interested. And also do please consider clicking that subscribe button if you are enjoying this video so far. It really means a lot and it really helps me out. But yeah, back on with the video. So onto my next point now, and we have another castle. Uh, but this one is a bit of a coastal castle and that is Clan Stefan Castle. So this castle is perched upon a hill overlooking the estuary and it was actually built upon the site of an old Iron Age fort. But this castle was built by the Normans as part of their invasion of Wales and it's completely free to visit and we've really enjoyed exploring these interesting ruins. <laughs> oh, careful! <laughs> As another bonus honorary mention, it's actually really great to walk down by the estuary when walking to and from this castle. There's a lot of history of the remains of old ships down here to learn about, and it's just a really surreal place to just stand and look out at the seemingly empty abyss across the estuary. Now, my next point is a pretty good one, and that is Deneva. Now, I'm still trying to get my head around the pronunciation of that one, so please forgive me if that was a little bit off, but I'm trying my best and I'll get it eventually. Now, Deneva Park is a nature reserve and it's one of the most scenic parks I have seen. Firstly though, I want to talk about Newton House, which is located right in the middle of the nature reserve. This house originally dates back to 1660, but it was majorly revamped in the 1850s. It fell into disrepair in 1974, but it has since been restored. And actually located within the house are a couple of sofas that were actually used on the set of Downton Abbey. What are you doing, Andy? I'm sitting on the Downtown Abbey sofa. Downtown Abbey? Downtown Abbey? <laughs> what was it? Proves that we haven't watched it right. Is it? Downtown Abbey. <laughs> Yeah. Right, I've got one more castle on this list now, and I promise this is the last one, but this one is actually located within uh, the Deneva Park itself, and that is Deneva Castle. So there's a really nice scenic walk through Castle Woods to get here, and it is the highest point in Deneva and gives you really great views over the entire park from the top. As another thing to do, you could also check out the county town of Carmarthenshire, which is Carmarthen. It has the possibility of being the oldest town in Wales and it's just great for a little explore. And finishing off the video now with a great beach and that is Pendine Sands. In the early 1900s this beach was actually used as a base for motor racing and then later land speed record attempts as well because this beach consists of seven miles of perfectly flat sand which has been described as the finest natural speedway imaginable which it must be pretty great right? It's also full of rock pools, cliffs and great clifftop walks making it an all-round great beach. And with that point that finishes off the video so I wanted to mention, obviously, Carmarthenshire is an absolutely massive place. So slimming that down into what is probably essentially a 10 minute video is always a massive challenge. So please feel free to let me know if you think I missed anything off the list. Maybe I missed some of your favorite places. Write it down in the comments and that way we can all share our Wales travel ideas and get even more ideas for great things that you can do in this great county. So please do subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Feel free to check out my full Wales playlist down in the description and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one and goodbye.